Hey Aries, this is going to be a general love reading for May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. As always, it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. If you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box, or you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs. And of course, the roles can be reversed. All right, so let's see, what is going on with Aries? First half of May. All right, we have crossroads and we have free will. All right, okay, so it looks like someone is trying to make a decision here. Um, someone is at, a, uh, is at a crossroad and it could be that um, whoever this is, you or another person, um, there's an issue here with free will, kind of like really taking a stand for what you believe in, all right? Um, and just using your own mind, your own discernment, your own will to actually make that decision without outside interference. So I feel like that is what the situation is here. Let's see. Let's get into it. And yeah, Mannix wants to come say hi. So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first half of May, yeah, he just wants to sit like right on my arms. All right, maybe he can do the reading for us. <laughs> One sec, because I need to kind of try to keep them there. All right. So let's see. For the situation, we have the Ace of Wands crossed by the Seven of Wands. Recent past, we have the King of Wands. And near future, we have the Queen of Cups. All right. So definitely... There's a lot of passion here, right? There's a lot of passion between you and another person. And I do feel like there is some kind of an action here that you or they want to take. And there's a lot of drive behind that. However, for some reason that is being blocked. All right, there's a lot of um, resistance to that. And it could be for some of you, it could possibly be a coming back together, right, with the Ace of Wands, like a reigniting of a situation, but there's a little bit of a resistance to that. I do see that in the, um, in the recent past, I feel like this is you here as this King of Wands, really having stood your ground, having stood in your power and really making things happen for yourself. Now, it could be um, together with this person, I see it more of that being like a separate energy um, outside of this connection, but it, it could go either way. We do have some love though coming up here or possibly um, just feelings showing up or opening up to love. Let's continue, let's see. So for you, we have death. For them, we have the chariot. More about you here, we have the page of pentacles. For them, we have the Hermit, potential outcome here for this month. We have the Nine of Pentacles, and a message for you here is the Hanged Man. All right, so, uh, it feels like for you, you're feeling like this is done. All right, now there could be a part of you that's still kind of holding on to this, especially if you're watching this video, but I feel like for the most part, you feel like this is done. Something has changed within yourself, and I feel like that's related to you having stood your ground here in the past. Something feels done. Something feels like it's um, really different than what it was before. Um, and I do feel like you are beginning to take a new path or at least seeing things from a different perspective and possibly it's it you're doing this in a very practical way like you're just being very very practical about the situation and the way that you're viewing the situation. Um, Mannix is like chasing his own tail. <laughs> um, for them, the other person here, all right you just dropped a deck, that's okay. I will grab it later. All right, so for them, with the Chariot and the Hermit, it's interesting that it's two major arcanas here. So there's definitely 
major things happening for the other person as well. I feel like they're taking some action here. They're beginning to take some kind of control over a situation. And it feels like this person is beginning to guide their own life. Um, like finding that sense of control to guide their own life in the way that they want. Like now their hands are on the wheel. However, it feels like this is a new type of an energy for this person, all right? Again, roles can be reversed. Take, take the messages as they make sense for you. Um, however, this person is doing this in a way by going within though at the same time. Like there's a lot of deep thinking. There's a lot of deep soul searching. And I feel like that is also what is leading to them just regaining that control. So it could be that it's this person who was having this issue with, with um, free will. All right, now for the potential outcome, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is independence. And it doesn't necessarily mean separation. It doesn't necessarily mean, mean being separated from each other. But this is a sense of really being in control of one's own life. And I feel like that is true for the both of you in this particular case. Um, it could even be, you know, if this crossroads is related to somebody having to make a decision when it comes to um, another relationship, this is somebody really becoming independent of that. Um, and I do feel, like I said, because you, you're feeling like this is done. Like, I feel like even if this relationship between the two of you continues on in some way, it's going to be different than it was before. There's something that has ended um, in, within this connection a way of being and coming up in the near future it's going to be different and it's going to be in a way where there is more independence and more um a, a greater sense of self-worth for each of you whether you are together or whether this is separately all right so let's actually start clarifying and get a little more details All right, so let me see the Ace of Wands with the Seven of Wands. All right, we have the Two of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. So, like I said, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of love. There has been a lot of pain in this connection and I feel like it's possibly because there was an ending. I do feel like there was some kind of an ending here um, between the two of you in some way which did cause a lot of pain. Um, it could even be the intensity itself that contributed to this being so, so painful, all right? And it's because there really was love there which made it even more, more painful. And it could even be that, you know, one of you felt betrayed or is feeling betrayed by the fact that somebody is bringing resistance um, to this action, to making that decision, to bringing this back in a way where it feels like, well, that's just what would be the right thing because there's so much love here. Now, what I do see here with the Wheel of Fortune is that this is shifting. This energy is in the process of shifting. All right, and that's why I feel like we have the death here because it, it's almost like this energy is, is um, being instigated by you, all right? There is a transformation within you that it's kind of like um, snowballing and affecting the other person as well and therefore affecting the situation. And that's why we have the Wheel of Fortune here. It's kind of like, you know, I feel like you're leaving things in the past. Like you, um, after all of this pain, you have begun to heal from that. Actually, I feel like you've done a great deal of healing. Um, and that's why you're at the point of this death card, which is a huge transformation. And that chapter for you is done. Um, and that's bringing about a change here within the connection. So I do feel like that resistance, if it's the other person, it's being released. So let's actually see your energy here. Let me clarify death. <laughs> Clarified by death. Um, and the three of pentacles. All right, so maybe some of you have um, Scorpio. In your charts, maybe you're dealing with the Scorpio, definitely let me know. 
Um, but definitely, I mean, this is like a huge, huge ending of a major phase, all right, for you. And I feel like that that obviously has to do with a partnership or with some kind of a situation. But I almost, I, it feels like you're still, you still have this sense that you could still either compromise or collaborate in some way or interact with this person in some way. So maybe, um, maybe as friends, for example, or just um, as it relates to work. I feel like there's still something there. It's like it's done. You feel the ending, but there's there's still something there. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was, for example, for some of you, maybe this is someone else. Maybe this was some kind of a um, a spouse. All right, and maybe there's children involved. And so, if you, even though it's over, there's still that connection of, well, you know, we have practical things that we need to um, collaborate together for. Okay, that's just one example out of many. Let's see the page of pentacles. All right, the Knight of Cups and the Sun. Yeah, so you're opening up this new pathway where you're really thinking very, very practically, but in a way where it's actually, I feel good for you. I feel like this may, might have been a missing um, piece for you in the past. So it's like you're thinking in a way where it is more, you're thinking of practical solutions possibly that you could not think of before or things that you may have thought were impossible. Now you're opening up that, that path to, yeah, you know, um, there are practical solutions for me when it comes to love. And not only that, I, I can actually find happiness by taking this path and by going after love or by allowing my heart to guide me. So I think that's actually a very, very positive, positive direction that you, that you are heading in and the way that you are seeing things, the way that you are now beginning to um, perceive the situation. So let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the chariot. All right, we have the queen of pentacles and we have the two of pentacles. All right, so this is something that, okay, so this person may have been struggling a lot with their own sense of self-worth, all right, which is what I was talking about before when I was talking about the potential outcome here, all right, so it definitely feels like they're the ones who mostly had an issue with that, which um, could even be that they're the ones having that free will issue, although it doesn't have to be, okay, that could go either way, um, but there was an issue here with self-worth and what is it that I deserve and that I am worthy of. This was something that was very challenging for this person and that is what was um, holding them back from being able to really take control over their lives. And like I said, I feel like this is a new energy that they are stepping into. There is something that they have been doing, which I do feel, like I said, is related to, um, to a lot of deep soul searching, which has helped them to find that sense of self-worth. And this is why they are beginning to take, take a, um, take the wheel into their hands of their own life. I feel like this was something they were not doing in the past. And that could be why you felt like it was, like it was done, like it was over. Um, and that was something that you just were not able to um, compromise with because that was affecting the whole situation. That was possibly keeping them from making a specific decision. There was a resistance, all of that. And so you, you put an end to it, you transformed through that, even though it came with a lot of pain. And now that has led this person to finally find their own self-worth and kind of um, regain control, regain control. It, it almost feels like they want to follow in your footsteps in some way. Um, 
Let's see the hermit. All right, we have the chariot and the nine of wands. Okay, so the chariot's showing up again. That's cancer energy. Um, could be that some of you are dealing with a cancer. Doesn't have to be, I'm just calling out what stands out to me. So yeah, again, this is exactly what I just said really, is that this deep soul searching which may have actually been triggered by your transformation is what is leading them to take control over their lives in a specific direction. But I feel like whatever that direction is, it's still something that is not very easy. So you might still be picking up on some resistance um, from their end when it comes to this, to whatever it is that they are moving towards. However, there is action, okay? The chariot is all about action and it's pretty fast. It can sometimes be impulsive um, and it can sometimes feel like, um, because it's like a new kind of an energy, um, it might feel like this person doesn't really have a handle on it and doesn't really know where they're going. And a part of that might be true, but I get the sense that for the most part though, it's, it's going to lead them to um, more stability, all right? Because it's coming from a place of having found their self-worth. And so it might just be that it's taking a little bit of time before this person can really gain control over that wheel, you know, um, over the, the vehicle that they are driving, for example. So let's see the Queen of Cups for the near future because like I said, I mean, I see that this is opening up the door to love. Here, let's see. Queen of Cups. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Moon. All right, so yeah, it's it's a gradual process for sure. I feel like you know, it's like that this this new path that you are both on. It is slowly moving in the direction of opening up to love. Um, it's slowly opening up that door of removing illusions, um, resolving fears. And I do feel like, you know, there are a lot of repressed emotions here still. Okay. And that could be something that, um, you, you might want to explore if you do end up, um, if you do end up coming together with this person, um, for some of you, you might already be in, in some kind of communication, as I said before, because I feel like there is some, you're willing to um, maintain some kind of a relationship here. So that could be the case for some of you. And then for others of you, it could just be that you're willing, but it's just not possible at this point in time. Either way, there are some repressed emotions here from the past that I feel like if you were to um, explore these, it will help to just open up that door to love in general, all right? And that is what is coming up. And for most of you, I do feel like it is for the, with this person, okay? So um, yeah, if you're completely done with somebody and you're watching this video, it might not be your reading, okay? So do keep that in mind. Um, but it could just be that the door is opening for, for something else here, just for love in general, because you're finally putting an end to a situation. For most of you, I do feel like this is for a particular person here. Let's see the Nine of Pentacles. All right, we have the Tower and the Seven of Pentacles, sorry, the Seven of Wands showing up again. So this is what, this is so interesting because it's like, you know, there's this tower, that's heavy energy. And I do feel like, you know, that is something that is going to need to take place. And because you are already in this energy with the death card of there being an ending, I feel like that's what this person is moving towards. I feel like there's going to have to be some kind of a, um, either a huge revelation or just like a huge shift for them as well. And I feel like by them taking control, of the wheel of their own life, it's headed in that direction. And I, even though the the um, tower can seem scary, I don't see it in that regards in this case at all. Especially because it is clarifying the nine of pentacles. Because whatever this tower is that this person is going to encounter here, 
it is leading them to really um, to really find that success within themselves when it comes to their self-worth. It's going to lead to some sort of an independence of energies that were keeping them blocked. I feel like that resistance is also coming down with that tower, all right? Because we had that, the, the Seven of Wands was actually the challenge, right? In the very beginning of this reading. That is coming down. That is being destroyed. This person is standing up for themselves. And I feel like that is the free will, you know, being able to defend oneself, advocate for oneself, speak one's own truth. That is going to come together with a tower, which is leading to a sense of independence, individuality. I stand my ground. I know what I want and I do what I want. And that has already started. All right. With the chariot, two chariots here. It's interesting how the other person here got the chariot twice, all right? Just really emphasizing that energy for them, like so much, and you got the death card twice, and both are major arcanas. So, um, yeah, Spirit is really emphasizing those, those energies here. All right, so we do have the hanged man as, the, as an extra message for you, which I do feel like this is just, um, talking about patience and it's also talking about seeing things from a different perspective. I feel like, yeah, you know, things might feel like they're taking some time to get to where you feel like, all right, you know, now I am where I want to be, especially when it comes to this connection or um, in, in regards to my own self. But what's really helping this is that you are both seeing things from a new perspective, all right, and it's getting there. So I'm actually going to leave it at that and let's just get your final oracle card. One sec, because that's the deck that the cat dropped on the floor. All right. So let's see, final message. And we have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. All right, okay, so if you are still holding on to control issues, which might be very, very subtle, <laughs> all right, whatever might be just residual here, because I do see you having had a major transformation, as I said, um, just allow it to unfold naturally, all right? So those are your messages, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if this resonated and I'll talk to you guys soon. Much love.